Hi, here's a quick video to uh, explain to you how to add a data check to MetTeam when Fluke sends you a text file. So what we have here is I'm logged into MetTeam, I'm in a work order, and we've got a data check that's going to prevent saving a work order if the related uh, type is inactive. So here's our ask, here's our record. We go into the type screen, we can see that this type is inactive. So before we have the data check, if we edit data, we can hit save and the record just saves just fine. Here we have a, um, a text file that contains our data check. Uh, so this will typically be provided to you by Fluke, either because you purchased a data check or we're providing one to you as part of CIT. I'm just going to open it up in Notepad uh, because it's a text file. I'm going to do um, Control A to highlight everything, Control C, right click copy, tons of different ways. Basically, you want to get, get the whole data check in your copy buffer. Then you want to go back over to Met Team. You want to go to Configure. You want to go down to Data Checks. And we're going to add a new data check. Takes the name. I'm going to paste the text over here. Um, I'm using IE right now. IE sometimes acts weird. This is IE 11. This one's going to work OK. Uh, but other times you uh, you might want to use Chrome. Chrome does IntelliSense and gives you a little bit better information. Um, typically, there's a name of the data check in the title. Typically, I'm going to copy that. Oops. Oh, oh, control Z. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that in the data check name. I'm going to set this thing to active. And just like this one says, this one runs on the work order. So the affected page, we're going to want to pick work orders from the effective page. So now we have the data check um, in the interface. It's It's been added, but it hasn't been saved. Something you need to pay attention to. Typically, if there's any SQL required to run it, there's going to be uh, information down here uh, in the header part. So the header is going to describe what's happening, but here's a section commented out that's going to show our SQL. So we want to copy that uh, because we're going to have to create a, a SQL function. So here's our SQL. I'm going to go ahead and save this record. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add a SQL function. Um, this is the SQL code uh, that I that I pasted. Oops, I guess I didn't copy it. Let's try that one more time. Control C. Uh, go back over here to our SQL function. Control V. So this is an example where copying and pasting isn't working out for me. So I'm going to go back over here to my original text file and I'm going to select this. I'm going to do Control C, Alt Tab, Control V, Alt Tab back. I'll get the name. So the name is super critical because this name is being used down here in the code of the data check. So you want to make sure you get the name right. So I've copied that. I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to save the name. I'm going to save that. So now we have our SQL function, get type info. It's named to get type info. And then down here in the code, you can see get type info. So now we've got everything set up. We've got our SQL in there. We've got our data check. It's active. We've saved it. Everything should be good to go. Uh, so I'm going to go back over here to the work order. I'm going to edit the data again, and I'm going to hit save. And this time, it stops the save because the data checks now in play. The work order cannot be saved because it's types inactive. Anyway, so this is just an example of a data check and how to add it to MetTeam. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Bye.